Um, your performance uh, was obviously one of a kind. Uh, it's uh, still unique for us to have someone who's not Indian and American at that to be singing our national anthem. I'm sure you must have prepared yourself and it was a beautiful rendition. Uh, what are the kind of reactions you got? Because you did talk about the energy of the crowd and the reaction of the audience yesterday. Uh, share a little bit of you know how people have been reacting to you. Well, I thought it was such a brilliant idea to have, uh, and let me just first say thank you to Dr. Bharat, to, these are names that are familiar, but uh, uh, Himanshu, a gentleman who was very uh, key to the event really happening in such an extraordinary way. Um, uh, so many, Dr. Vijay, uh, Dr. Vijay, do you, of course, you all know there, who was so instrumental to me performing and so many others. I want to thank the, the stirring committee uh, for the invitation to perform. I thought thought it was a brilliant idea to have uh, an American sing the Indian National Anthem and then uh, a young lady of Indian uh, mm. descent to sing the American National Anthem. She she did did a wonderful job, that young lady last night who sang the, the American anthem. It's a hard one to sing, just like the Indian anthem is hard. So she did a wonderful job. Uh, but I loved that imagery because it really showcased the cross-pollination, the cultural assimilation, it spoke to the model of the G20 summit, the one earth, one family, one future, that one family aspect. I thought it was a, a really beautiful way to display that by having the anthems positioned that way. But I tell you, Shivani, I just, I almost stopped singing during the anthem for a moment because it was glorious. Have, he, seeing this auditorium full of just beauty uh, of culture and then hearing these voices singing your your anthem already is just so uh beautiful and emotional and and it it just oozes with love of country and and so hearing all these voices there was so much passion in their singing there was you could just i, I personally standing on stage i almost had a moment where I just wanted to stop singing and listen because it truly was, it it, uh, it sounded like heaven to me. Uh, it really did. It was very angelic. It was very, um, it was very sacred to me uh, as these songs of patriotism are, uh, whether they're American, Indian or wherever in the world. And so uh, it was such a special, it was such a special night. And to have that moment standing next to one of the greatest leaders in the world, um, it, it will uh, it will go down in, in life as a moment I will always treasure. Finally, Mary, can I just take your thoughts on the entire visit? Uh, obviously, you've been talking about the Indo-US relationship. What does that mean uh, for someone like you? Well, it was an extraordinary week. It really was a great week for the prime minister. I, I hope that uh, the, the PM's team and, and all of those affiliated uh, are on their way. I know they're they're in Egypt now, but as they head home, I hope that they have a sense of, of assurance that this was a very successful visit for the prime minister on, on many levels. And it certainly was a successful visit uh, as it relates to the U.S.-India relationship, um, the conversations that certainly were shared between the president and the prime minister uh, displayed that, you know, at the forefront. And certainly the, the prime minister's speeches and thoughts that were shared throughout the week just culminated the importance of the U.S.-India relationship and certainly the position that India is playing in the world. We are seeing some significant conflicts in the world that are affecting both countries, let alone you know, the entire world, we're, we're seeing, um, uh, uh, and so I say that to say India is so positioned right now in a very crucial way uh, to bringing stability to the world. And so certainly as the United States is, is looked to as a, a leader in the world, the, the relationship is, is very timely in the context of its strength. And so I think that that was the beauty of the week for certainly the United States and certainly for India, and as it uh, as it um, uh, helps the Prime Minister, that you saw the strength of the relationship, and and I think also again it was a great week for America to see Indian culture and. Mm. and, and um, the pride of India on full display. And it was a great way for the United States 
to see the pres the prime minister's agenda in totality, the great things that he's doing in technology and infrastructure, uh, agriculture, um, certainly his promotion in, uh, of women and the advancements of women in India, uh, his love and passion for youth and how that's certainly stimulating. So we got to see so much of of his personal agenda on, on display that had many parallels to uh, what we believe in the United States. And Giovanni, Shivani, I'll say lastly, it was a beautiful week that put two words on full display, and that is freedom and democracy. Those are the, that is the common bond that the United States and India shares. And, and that is what uh, I think is the, the most important aspect of our relationship is that we are the symbol, we are the beacon of hope for freedom and democracy in the world. We're the two largest democracies. And so we carry that responsibility to wave the flags of freedom and democracy in every aspect. And that certainly was on full display. And, and a good conversation to continue to challenge both leaders, mm -hmm. our, our, the American president, certainly President Biden, and uh, the Prime Minister of India, uh, Prime Minister Samoa, to challenge both leaders to continue everything that they're doing agenda-wise to continue advancing freedom and democracy uh, within country and across the world. So uh, it was a great week, and uh, I look forward to, to traveling to India uh, this fall for the G20 summit, certainly to see uh, more conversation on the U.S.-India relationship. And we'll certainly host you on CNN News 18 when you come to India for the G20 summit. I look forward to that. Mary, you're a wonderful ambassador for America and you're quickly becoming an ambassador for India too. So many congratulations once again on your performance and all the very best. Thanks so much, Ivana. I look forward to seeing you when I come to India. Absolutely. Thank you.